Yeah, be a good girl. Daddy's got to go to work. Oh, let me get your bed set up. Where's your bed? Ugh. Where's your bed? Mommy be home in a little bit. What's up guys? I uh, got my new helmet, Bell Vortex. Haven't really ridden it much. Ridden. I've been riding with my uh, older helmet because I needed the Bluetooth for directions. Took a wrong, long ride to Glastonbury, Connecticut and wasn't positive how to get there. Actually, I didn't even end up using the Bluetooth. used the music until I was close. Today's a beautiful day, June 1st, in Brooklyn, Connecticut. And I got my new helmet, Bell Vortex. Um, for once paid a lot less than I thought I'd have to. But, like I said, I haven't really had a chance to try it out much. So I figured I'll try it out on my way into work with the camera. Yeah, I think it was like 160 out the door. You know, I was looking at it and I told the guy, eh, I'll probably be back. And he's like, eh, if I knock another 10 or 20 bucks off, you take it right now? I was like, okay. And I went with the medium. First I tried on the large and it felt comfortable, but I want it to be, have a good fit even after the break-in period. So I went with the medium, and it's still comfortable, but I think after I wear it more and break it in more, it'll be even more comfortable. I don't want it to be too big, because I think there was that bobblehead effect on my uh, first helmet that I still like, but um, just being a little too big. Shit, find a gear. And uh, the other day, I got out of work. I was so hot and sweaty after getting out of work. And it was like 90 degrees out that I didn't want to wear a helmet, you know? So, I know it's bad and people call you a squib. I just learned what that term is. A squib is for people that don't wear helmets and protective gear. Um, a lot of bikers call them squibs. And... I'm sweating my ass off at work a lot and getting out, the last thing I want to do is put my head, sweaty head, into a helmet. So I'll be the first to admit I do not wear my helmet all the time. I try to wear it whenever I can, but I know it's stupid to sacrifice comfort for safety, but... need to be comfortable in this heat. So yeah, this helmet, the little bit I have tried it out, it's loud. <laughs> um, and that's really kind of one of the reasons I was going to prepare to pay a premium so it wouldn't be as loud, the helmet. But the guy said, you know, this is a very popular helmet and everybody seems to really like it. And I figured it was a good price, 160 with tax and everything out the door. I think I saw them on, online for like 180, 180 and change. So it seemed like a good price, and it, and I really like the fit. Um, what else is new? Well, not much else new. Oh, I finally got in the mail the other day the engine ice to put in my bike because it has been running hot so Friday I have off I'm gonna drain the coolant and I think I gotta flush it with like distilled water or something I gotta get back on the forum and read what you're supposed to do I think, you, I think you have to flush it with distilled water and then fill it up with the engine ice I think I have a, a half gallon I hope that's enough um, 
But yeah, I definitely want to do that because it's just getting hotter and hotter. It's only June 1st and we've had some muggy, muggy, humid, very hot days. And the bike has been reflecting that, running very hot. So hopefully when I put this engine ice in, it won't run as hot and won't overheat. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, I find I definitely wear more protective gear when it's cooler out. Like, I had no problem wearing the helmet, the gloves, the jacket when it was when I first got my bike because it was still kind of cold out. I was still I was thinking of getting like a little neck gaiter thing to help because my neck was freezing sometimes. That was really the only thing that was getting cold on me. But I was like, you know what, in two weeks I'm not going to need it, so I'll hold off until I really need one. Um, but yeah, I definitely am better about wearing the helmet and all the protective gear the cooler it is. But I know the next couple of months is going to be hot. I just, you know, I think like today it's hot and I'm wearing everything. I'm not, I'm going into work. I'm not sweaty getting out of work. But tonight I'm not getting out of work until 10 o'clock tonight. So maybe... It'll be cooler by then, and I'll still put everything on. But when I'm getting out at 1.30, 2 in the afternoon, I'm not going to wear the protective gear a lot, I'm guessing, when it's in the 80s, 90s, and hot as hell. Say what you will, I don't care. People, that's one thing I notice with bikers. They all got an opinion. And I know it's for safety or what, blah, 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 blah. But I probably wouldn't ride as much if I had to wear everything all the time. I'd just as sooner jump in my car and just go to work. So, go ahead, post your comments and how stupid I am or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> it's not too bad right now. I think it's, uh, I think it's like 80 degrees out and I got everything on. Obviously, I took the liner out of my jacket, so it's not, I don't need that. And that helps. So this is just a mesh jacket, so it lets a lot of airflow in. And I got my thinner, lighter gloves on. And I got my full face Bell Vortex helmet, my new helmet on. and. I can't even remember if I open the vents or not. I think they're open. Two top ones are at least. Now the bottom one I think is open now too. Hopefully that doesn't sound too loud with all the vents open. What else is going on? I don't know. That's kind of everything I had to say. So I don't want to just ramble to ramble. I'm trying to think of something interesting. Oh. So yeah, the other day, when I was coming home from work and didn't want to wear my helmet because it was so damn hot out, I like awkwardly strapped it to my saddlebag, you know, on top of the passenger seat. And it stayed there, but it was just kind of crowded me. I felt like I was pushed forward on the seat a lot. So I uh, ordered a cargo net. Just, just ordered it from, you know, China from eBay so it's probably gonna take four to six weeks for it to get here but it was only like four dollars and change but that's what I'm gonna plan on keeping in my saddlebag and then when I don't want to wear my helmet get out of work and I'm hot as hell I can just take the cargo net out of the saddlebag and strap it to my back passenger seat um, Yeah, I was torn between getting the black color or getting the orange. I ended up getting the orange. I'm trying to, I don't know why, but for some reason with the bike, I try to be matchy-matchy with everything.
Yeah, this is the, like a later shift for me at work. Sometimes I can work up until 11 o'clock at night, so 1 to 10, or 1.30 to 10 isn't too bad. Uh, but I definitely prefer the earlier shifts. You know, not the earliest, that's not bad though. Like, sometimes I get out as early as 1.30, 5 to 1.30. And that's not too bad, but I, I really prefer just like a 8 to 5.30 kind of thing. Wednesday and it is beautiful out. Beautiful. Yeah, can't really think of anything else to talk about. Um, got the engine ice in. Hopefully that cools the bike down so I don't need to get the small fan. Because I really don't want to do that. But I will if I have to. Um, I'm hoping the engine ice does the trick though. That's one thing I do like wearing the helmet for, is the bugs, man. The bugs are brutal when you're wearing, when you're riding without a helmet. Oh wow, that long ride, uh, night ride I had coming back from Glastonbury. Yeah, the Google map says it takes like an hour. I was going a little fast, so it probably took me like 45 minutes. Um, but I had to stop at the gas station. Oh. And there were so many dead bugs on my shields. It was crazy. I needed like two of my like little wet nap cleaner wipes to clean off all the dead bugs off the window shield. It was nuts. And it was uh, it was a warm night, and the bugs were just out like crazy. Oh, also in the front of my bike by the headlight, I haven't washed that off yet. I got a bunch of dead bugs up on there. So, that's another reason to wear the helmet, so you're not eating bugs and getting them in your eye, and some of these freaking bugs are so damn big, they could freaking knock you off the bike probably. So, you know, I'm all for the protective gear, but when it's so damn hot, sometimes I just can't take it. Yeah, so like I said, I'm getting out of work 10 o'clock tonight, so if I got enough battery left, I'm going to try to do uh, moto vlogging at nighttime. It'll be my first nighttime moto vlog. See how that turns out. See, test this Senna Prism tube at night. I expect it to be fine, but you, know, you never know. Some cameras have like a weird tint at night so we'll see how that looks I'll try to put them both up tonight but I oh that's what I wanted to talk about formatting the files because it takes forever to upload them I'm not too computer savvy but it says you have to format them to a different way I think to get them to upload a lot faster because I'll have a little 10-15 minute video 
and it takes like almost two hours to upload the video to YouTube and I don't know I don't think that's normal I think if I formatted them right um, it would upload a lot quicker but I don't even know that that really means to format it correctly or format it so feel free to school me in the comments of I don't know if I have to download some software on my computer to I tried looking through the uh, YouTube you know recommended formats and it didn't really explain I didn't think so or I didn't really take a lot of time looking at it but like where you find these or whatever different I don't know so if you got a dummies quick version of how to format them to upload the videos faster on YouTube that would be very helpful because I've got little 10 15 minute videos that taken like two hours to upload and it's not that I'm sitting there waiting the whole time but it just takes a long time next week me and the fiance or is that this week I don't even remember someday before work one of these late shifts that I'm working we're going in the morning down to look at wedding bands now that's more flipping money I gotta spend um, but yeah the weddings coming up October 8th we're getting married and then we're going on the honeymoon a cruise to Bermuda after that which I'm looking forward to well, I'm looking forward to everything but I've never been on a cruise before never been anywhere with that crystal clear blue water so I want to go you know definitely do some water activities while we're there just, even if it's just like snorkeling like they have excursions once you dock at the port so I definitely want to do like some snorkel and check out that crystal clear blue water I've been looking a ways to uh, so I can see it because I'm blind as a bat without my glasses I heard of people say like taking an old pair of glasses and like adhering it to the inside of the snorkel mask so you can actually see all that beautiful clear water and tropical fish and whatever and I do actually have an old pair of contact lenses. This thing's got to, this pair has got to be like seven, eight years old um, that I found. I think I still got them, but I can't remember. There was like an orange color and a green color, and I can't remember which one was right eye and which one was left eye. So that would probably be the easiest thing, just to pop those suckers in when I want to go snorkeling. But for the life of me, I can't remember which one's for the right and which one's for the left. I don't think it's a huge deal. You know, they're not that different. I think one of them's got an astigmatism or something. But that's probably what I'll just end up doing. Because that would be a lot easier than trying to take apart an old pair of glasses and putting them inside the mask and trying to, you know, that just sounds like a pain in the ass. But I'm so blind, I really feel like I would miss out all that beautiful crystal clear water without contacts or glasses or something because I'm blind as a bat very very nearsighted so yeah that's that's that it's the wedding and the honeymoon getting married at a golf course and Putnam I think it is is it Putnam now I'm fucking forgetting she's really doing everything my my fiance is planning everything which is cool because she has good taste and so she's picking out a lot of the stuff not gonna be much of a reception there's like a one-man band kind of playing with his guitar and it's like we're getting married at the golf course and having a dinner there and having the one-man band but I don't even think there's like a dance floor but that should be fun I don't know we might go out to the casino or something afterwards with our friends we're still kind of trying to figure that out
What else? What else? I had yesterday off, and I'm working today, Wednesday and Thursday, and then I have Friday off. That's not bad. I kind of like two days off together, but as long as it's not day on, off, on, you know, having to work one day in between your two days off, that I hate. That just makes me want to call out. <laughs> um, so yeah, two days, Wednesday and Thursday, that's not bad, and I'll have Friday off. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to start planning a, uh, we live right on the Connecticut, Rhode Island border, so I want to start uh, planning a beach day with Marie and trying to invite some of my old friends from Glastonbury, try to coordinate. It's so tough to coordinate everybody's schedules. Well, I know, like, it's always busy, like, on the busiest on the weekend, so ideally I would like to try to go during the week. Like a Wednesday or a Thursday, and just make a day of it up at, like, uh, Musquamacate, Rhode Island. Really nice beaches, bars right on the beach. Got a lobster roll last time that was very good. Nice hot lobster roll on the beach with a beer. That is a good time. So as much as I love riding and I'd like to take the bike to the beach, that means no drinking. So I don't know if I'm going to take the bike. Probably not because she'll want me to drive up with her and that's fine by me so she can drive home and I can have a couple cocktails on the beach. Alright guys, I'm at work so I might as well start wrapping this up. Oh, that's another thing I've noticed. These lights don't seem to detect me when I'm on the bike. I've had to blow a few lights recently because I'm sitting there for like a while and the lights just never change. Like this one should change right now after these people go on the side on my left. But if it doesn't and the other ones turn green, I'm going to blow this light. Oh good, it changed. Alright, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to uh, try to remember to vlog on my way home so you can check out the prism tube for recording at night but uh, thanks for hanging around and checking out my video and hopefully I'll have something up again soon talk to you soon